Hey guys, welcome back. It's Avo and Andrea. Andrea, my wife. <laughs> I have a question. Did, did you almost name. forget your name? Yeah. So our first official video of 2020, aside from the little preview video we had earlier, right, Andrea? Mm -hmm. We're just gonna jump right in. We're not gonna do anything fancy. These are just you know right off the cuff. Just turn the camera on and start opening stuff. So I think today I'm gonna start with this non-sports magazine that my wife got me for Christmas that I've been looking for all over the place last year when it came out and uh, I couldn't find it so she found it for me and um, it's a non-sports update magazine which is kind of cool and there's a vintage Garbage Pail Kids um, there's like an article in here about Garbage Pail Kids and uh, I haven't read the article yet and I don't think I want to open this Go ahead. no I don't really want to it's it's I you know as a GPK collector I collect it but I will find the article online I'm sure it's on there and I'll read what about it the card? so Oh, is there a card in there? I thought you said something about a vintage card. Exclusive promo codes inside. Is there Outlander? It doesn't say, nope, so there's no GPK card in here. Oh, never mind. Uh, upper deck split. I don't think, wacky packages, auction results. I don't think there is a card in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think so. I'll find out for sure, but I don't think there is. So this is the non-sports magazine we're gonna leave here. And I Googled it. And I think there was an earlier version. I believe that's what this is. I have so many packages that I haven't opened. Uh, shoot, you know, I didn't get a knife or anything. No. All right, wanna be very careful. Oh, here we go, I got it, I got it. Actually, you know, while I'm opening this, I'm gonna have Andrea. We have so many, we're so behind. We're just gonna get to it. I'm gonna have her open up a couple of these uh, Revenge of, oh, the horrible blaster boxes. So Andrea, if you wanna start opening these mm -hmm. and I'll just stack the packs here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna open up this. Wait, yeah, open the pack. Yeah, yeah. And just put them face up here in a pile. Do you want your, um, do you want me to save the... Save the wrappers? Yes. No, I don't need the wrappers. I have so many. All right, this is it. A non-sports magazine. This is an older one. Excellent shipping. So this one is from, so volume 26, August, September 2015. There's an article. There was an article. Oh, it's 30th anniversary Garbage World Kids article. Plus Ghostbusters and blah, blah, blah. But this is one that I wanted um, as well. So now I have both non-sports magazines that pertain to or have something to do with Garbage Pail Kids inside. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Thank you, wife. I didn't pay for that. Yeah, but you got this one. Oh. <laughs> so, that was like a big... I didn't get that one. Yeah. Should we make this our backdrop? If it stays. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Let me see if I can angle this camera I still don't have like an awesome stand cool so we'll leave that like that get rid of this garbage I'm just gonna open up some packs oh, I'm sorry <laughs> it's okay. I will start I'll start opening all right so we're looking for hits if you guys haven't seen my videos before I'm looking for hits I'm not gonna go through every card and read the names um, I'm just gonna swipe through like this Are swipe through these are from yes oh, wow. late to school which i have late to school was 2020 series one these were 2019 series two i believe we haven't even gotten to late to school <laughs> yeah. so we're gonna fly through this is, the, this is the horrible revenge of all the horrible oh, okay. well, you don't have to open those let's bring these closer so we can uh you know i won't even make different piles we're just gonna look for the autographs and the sketch cards My wife's a fantastic help. She opens them up so we can keep these things flowing. Autographs and sketch cards. We get printing plates I think are in, oh, what is this one? Birdie poop. That's <laughs> awesome. That is fun. You know, Topps quality has gone downhill. You all know that. I've seen cards. See, this one's not too bad. You can see some, I'm gonna call it cardboard fur. But there were some cards I was looking at from late to school. They were just like hacked, hacked. And I mean, I don't know. I don't really care about the base cards. I do collect my sets and then I put them away. But I love sketches and uh, I like autos too, but mostly sketches because it's like the raw one of a kind. This is the mobile game card. If you haven't seen these, this is just an ad for the mobile game. I downloaded the game. I don't, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't play a lot of mobile games. Actually, I don't play any mobile games. So I 
quickly until we did it. Wasn't my thing. Wasn't my thing. So we got the base cards. All right, what else we got here? Okay. Any autos? Any autos? You know, I'm going to put these down here. Andrea can stack them in the greens and the bases. I'll just put them down there. Thank you. Okay, okay next. <laughs> next pile. Open up another box. Um, okay. Let's just keep going. But we've been not we haven't been doing this for ages. We need to catch up. We need to find some cool stuff. Thanks for subscribing by the way. And while Andrea's opening up the second box, I am going to I'm gonna you, who cares? Just throw everything on the floor. Uh, don't forget, you can't see it, but no, you know something? We have this Revenge of Oh the Horrible. We should open up a collector's edition box. Next video, we're gonna open up that box. Right, Next video. Sure. Yeah, because we've been we've been doing boring things, opening packages. I mean it's not boring, it's exciting, but we're gonna open this up next video. Okay. Next video. Next video. Andrew, what do we do what are we doing next video? Opening that box. Yes. Collector's edition box, right? Mm -hmm. These are blaster boxes, or some people call them bonus boxes. Five regular car uh, packs per box, plus the three insert cards. Nothing, nothing, no hits. These are all regular backs. So, where are the horrible, are the horrible victims? Yeah, so these horror victims are the uh, three card inserts that come into the, with the bonus boxes. Do you want to open that Yeah, one? open up another one, oh, go for it. Okay. She's gonna open up another one, we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. No, okay. Yeah, you know, we weren't, we don't plan these out. I mean, I do have topics. I mean, I wanna show you guys my entire collection, which I went through earlier this year reorganize it so i'm gonna Flash. definitely uh <laughs> no i think they're like a month or two ago right oh, you did? yeah i got all the boxes out remember i brought all, all the boxes in the carpet oh, here oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I took inventory so i'm gonna show you how i store my garbage pill kids i see that topic uh people asking how we all store our wax packs and whatnot i'm gonna show you how i store my wax packs my singles my sketch a, cards i'm yeah. sorry i need to interrupt can i ask you a stupid question yeah are the cards i'm noticing i'm trying to put them face facing the same direction some of them are out of direction that's just how like upside down or yeah that's probably just how they come out oh. i mean, doesn't really matter. I mean uh, they, they, these probably go through they, they're right. sheets they're sheets of like 24 cards or something and they go through a machine that slices them and they probably some of them probably get oh, just, just yeah rotated 180 degrees and they just put them in the packs you know like that i'm sure a machine sorts them all out Oh, well, I, mean, I don't care how you hand the cards. <laughs> now, if you see if you see a sketch card, don't say anything, but um, be careful, careful how you handle that one. I have so many of these singles. I will eventually sell these. I'll put them in like lots of a hundred or a couple hundred because we're going to have a ton of them and we'll just get rid of them. I don't need to keep these. Right, Andrea? Oh, like this one's upside down. Yeah, that's just how, yeah, oh, that's that an upside down pack. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. I'm going so fast. I hope I don't miss anything. I'm sure you guys have seen all these because you already have your Revenge of the Horrible. You guys are probably just about done with late to school. Okay, what else? We got this one. Do you want me to do another one? Let's do another one. Keep going. Oh, if we have to put a little fast forward montage in here, we will. And we'll slow it down when the good stuff comes. We got a sketch. Oh, good. Yes. Woohoo! Second box. Nice. We have a sketch. Let's pause everything. Yes, that and wasn't the second box. This was the first box? That's like, I think it's like the sixth oh, box. You, oh my God, how many boxes did you open? <laughs> That's funny. I thought this was the second box. Oh, I think like. All right, let's put that sketch aside real quick. We're going to put it aside and we're going to quickly go through all of these cards. There's another mobile game card. Put that there. There's a green parallel and then boom, boom, boom. All right, so let's see what we have. 
Awesome. Revenge of Oh the Horrible sketch card. That is Cruz. That is a sketch card by Cruz. That is awesome. Cool. Revenge of Oh the Horrible. I have a. Actually, yeah, can you get me a hard. Uh, a two piece? My wife knows where the two pieces are. Yeah, she'll find it. Look at that. Incredible. This is why I love sketch cards, because the detail's incredible. It's just a simple sketch. You know, I don't know how long it took them to, to draw this, but the fact that it's just one of a kind, it's like original art, you know, it's just, it's cool. I love it. Look at even the, the, the shading and... It's good detail. <laughs> cool. All right, give me the, give me the, um, no, give me the other side. Yeah, actually, you gave me the right part. Yep, yep, yep. So this is how I store my sketches. I put them in here like this. I make sure they fit in the corners. And then we put the magnetic part. And then I shake it around to make sure I can hear the card. Uh -oh. Yeah, you, can, I, you can't hear it on camera, but I the card, to make sure I'm not pinching any corners, you can hear the card kind of flapping around. So I know it's not, it's not pinched. And that's how I store my sketch cards. My golds, I put in a penny sleeve, like one of these, and then I insert it into a top loader. Uh, one thing I learned online from you guys actually is put them in a penny sleeve and then upside down in the top loader. So in the penny sleeve, you know, from the top and then put the penny sleeve upside down in the top loader. I guess that keeps the oxygen out. It's, it kind of keeps it sealed, the card sealed in there. I haven't done that yet. And uh, I may actually go through all my cards and do that. I, I have a ton okay. to do that too, but okay, again, yeah. But you know what? I keep all of these in plastic storage bins. Yeah, they're not airtight, but um, we'll get to that video on uh, another time to show you how I store all my GBTs. But here we have a sketch from Revenge of Oh the Horrible by S. Cruz. We will put it here. Nice, look at that. First video back and we got something. Now what are the chances of getting something in, in this stack here? Oh, <laughs> Is this the same box as that? No, th this looks like a lot of cards. Yeah. yeah. You should see the four. There's a mobile card. I'll let you put these in the proper stacks. How's that? Sure. Such a great help. You're welcome. Such a great help. Look at that. First video back, we got a, uh, already got a sketch. That's a good sign for, what is this, can we call this season two of our videos? Our yeah. GPK unboxing videos? Good sign for season two. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are running into your hands. That's all right. Okay guys, cool. What else should we show them real quick? Here, here let's do this. What? I wanted to do this. Um, it has to do with Revenge of All the Horrible. Andrea, turn these lights off. Because in Revenge of All the Horrible, I forgot what boxes these come in. Do they come in? I think these come in hobby boxes. Uh, I'll find out right now. Alexa, turn off the loft lights. Yes, Alexa, turn off the loft lights. Guys, so in the hobby boxes, I could be wrong. I should have researched this, but you get the same cards in the base set, but sorry for the lights, I did it on purpose. Um, actually, let me turn it on for it real quick so you guys can read this. Uh, it's, if you read it here, it says black light reactive, reactive card, black light reactive card. And these are black light cards. I didn't know until I saw this on the back of a comic. Like, what is this? So then I went through my entire collection and I found out I had a whole bunch of them. And what this is, is these are cards that react to black lights. So I got my handy black light here. It? It's better with pitch black. Uh, and I got it. It's okay. easier if I hold the light at the same time, because if you look at the card, Hopefully you can see it on camera. You can see the puke border and you can also see the Garbage Pail Kids writing in the background, the print. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? So these are black light cards. A lot of people don't know about this. They just, because all the cards look the same and it's easy to miss that little signature on the back there. So, I mean, if you have a stack of these cards, you might want to go through. Are they the same? These are regular cards. They're not anything special, but they are black light cards. What I'm saying is this character is also a regular card, a base card. No, no, no. What I mean is do they show something? Oh, no. I think they're all, they all just have that same. 
Yeah, they probably just take a sheet with this black light stuff on it yeah. and just print that garbage pill kids on it. Isn't that cool? Nice. So go through your set if you're not aware um, for Reven the Revenge of the Horrible and look for the black light cards. Again, I think these come in hobby packs and hobby boxes, not um, not the bonus bl uh, blaster boxes. Can you hold this light real quick? Because mm -hmm. I'm, I don't, I'm gonna refresh my memory because we would have seen one in here by now. So we don't see any in here. So they do not come in the bonus boxes. They strictly come in the um, hobby packs. Or no, do they come in the collector's boxes only? You know something? I don't know. I would have put it here by now in the description. Uh, I mean, in the um, in the doobly-doo. <laughs> in the clue, in the clip. All right, cool. So black light cards, base cards, parallel cards. We got our sketch. Let's turn these lights back on. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Our next video, we are going to open up this collector's box from Revenge of All the Horrible. And that might take up the entire video. We're, we're going to speed through the cards, but we're going to get a, at least a hit. We got a tombstone in there. Uh, yeah, who knows? We might get two hits because quality control hasn't been the greatest. But until next time, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, I forgot the most important part of the video. 300 subs. Once we reach 300 subs, we're going to open this box and one lucky viewer is going to get the hit and the tombstone in that box. Mm -hmm. yeah, and if, if you want the cards, I mean, we'll just give the whole card, all the cards out too. But the hit for sure and the tombstone in that in that box is yours. Subscribe. We have 200, how many uh, subscribers? 240 something. 240 something. Awesome. Guys, keep up um, the comments. We love reading your comments and thanks for the support. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Guys, we forgot. We forgot to end the video the proper way. See you next time. Bye. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. <laughs>